Oh, what's happening? On today's episode of Massimo on the Go, uh, we visit my old high school, Laval Catholic, which is now called Laval Junior Academy. That's a terrible name. But anyway, we're, we're, we're back at my old fucking shit high school where I used to get high a lot. Yo, dude, roll the intro. All right, so I uh, arrived here at, uh, at uh, my old uh, high school, Laval Catholic, and uh, I'm gonna go walk around, rekindle some memories. I don't really have like that many um, memories. Um, but I, w I was really high back, back in the day. For those of you who are in the US or outside of Quebec in Quebec, High school goes up to grade 11, and then we go to CJEP. What's CJEP? I don't even want to get into it because I never went to CJEP because I got kicked out of high school. Yeah, when I went here, it was called Laval Catholic, and then they, they changed the name because it's a public school, and then at some point, public schools couldn't be, like, uh, religious anymore. Like, that's how old, that's how old I am. I'm so old that when I went to school, uh, public schools were run by God, and then sometime in the, in the late 90s, or whatever it was in the late 90s, they turned to God and they're like, listen, dude, uh, we can't make you run the public school systems anymore. And then God was like, no, bro, it's okay. You know, I had a good run, you know what I mean? Uh, at least I still have, you know, the churches and most of the bingo halls. All right, so school's out, so it's a very dangerous time to be a middle-aged man with a camera when you're um, at a high school. There's a lot of kids coming out, but let me just bring you to, uh, whoop. Bring you to an area here of Laval Catholic. Um, I'm just gonna call it Laval Catholic. I know it's called Laval Junior Academy, um, but uh, yeah, okay. Well, somebody. All right, security, security guards coming, so I gotta get the fuck out of here. Anyway, just over there, I used to uh, smoke a lot of cigarettes and drugs, and uh, some girl, one, some woman right now is telling me it's not safe to record the children. Uh, I don't really record children. I just record myself. I'm a narcissist. Why would I ever record anybody else but myself? But, you know, this woman is telling me to leave. Um, so uh, that uh, pretty much, uh, you know, I don't want to get arrested or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, that's already happened too many times on these grounds. You know, I never got arrested as a kid. But, you know, now a security guard showed up. All right, so I'm back in the car. That security guard woman has uh, now, she's um, she is, uh, standing in front of my car. Whoop. Let me turn off that radio. Uh, she is uh, standing in front of the car. She's got a CB. I don't know who she's calling, uh, but I got to get the fuck out of here before the cops show up. Um, you know, so uh, basically, um, like, what was it? 1993 or something when I got kicked out of school? So what are we? Uh, 2021. I never finished high school, so I'm bad with math. 2021, 93. Uh, so that's 28 years ago. They told me get the fuck off the property. Come back 28 years later, and they're telling me uh, get the fuck off the property. So uh, you know nothing's changed with this fucking place. All right, well, um, I guess we can go to other places. We'll go to uh, Carrefour Laval, and uh, Carrefour is French for uh, Carrefour. I have no idea what Carrefour Laval. I have no idea what Carrefour means. I know what Laval means. It means this shitty fucking wasteland that I grew up in, but um, Carrefour, hey, if you're French uh, and you're from uh, Laval, I guess you don't have to be from Laval, you just have to understand fucking French words, uh, leave it in the comments below, L let me know, L L let me know, um, let me know what the fuck Carrefour means. So that sucks that I did get thrown out of there, because I did have, you know, I had some, you know, whenever I shoot these episodes, I always have a few ideas of what I'll talk about, and I had a few stories I wanted to tell, but it just doesn't work as well, I feel for myself, telling those stories in my car about my high school that's over there. It's nice to have the high school in the back and you know go to the spot, like here in this spot, this thing happened. So we'll probably do a uh, part two, a part two of uh, Laval Catholic, uh, AKA uh, Laval Junior Academy. Uh, I'll probably go like on the weekend or something, like on a Saturday or Sunday when school's closed and there's no security guard uh, chasing me down telling me, sir, you can't be here, there's children, it's not safe to record. Like, what the fuck's that supposed to mean, it's not safe? Like, at first I thought she was talking about it's not safe because of COVID 
or whatever. But she was saying like it's not not safe. I don't want this tripod to fall. Let me just grab it in my hand. Nothing like driving with a camera in your hand. I'm sure the cops won't pull me over. But she was saying, you know, you can't record here. There's children. It's not safe. What is that? Is that a comment towards me that I look like a not safe around children person? And okay, I do know. I I know I look. I, okay, I know. I know I look like I'm not safe to be around anybody, but me, I'm a nice guy. And I don't understand why she had to talk to me like that. You know, back in the day, this was uh, the place to go, a uh, car full of Laval, because it's uh, Laval, and Laval's a wasteland, so there's not really much to do. There's still not much to do here. This is probably still the place to be. Uh, here and uh, the Colossus, which is the movie theater, that's pretty much all there is in uh, Laval, which is, you know, a suburb, like most suburbs mall movie theater uh and then you try to figure out ways how to get out of the burbs and uh you know move to the city which i did and it only took me uh you know 44 years um i'm 44 years old right now but um anyway i used to like uh, going here uh with my friends during high school would skip school uh we'd uh, get like wicked high and um and then we'll go here. My favorite place to eat was Kojak's. By the way, I used to get high a lot in high school. I used to smoke a lot of weed. I stopped smoking weed. And by the way, I often say like, oh, I don't smoke weed anymore. And it's not because like I want to make it seem like me, I'm a good kid now because I'm not. I just stopped smoking weed. Like I started smoking weed. Um, uh, well, actually I started with hash. That's how old I am. I'm so old. I used to smoke hash. Uh, no, but I started smoking when I was like 13. And then I was like 21, 22. I was like, you know, uh, I'm good now, and I just, I just pretty much stopped. But trust me, if I still smoke weed, I wouldn't try to hide the fact that if I still smoke weed, I'd be smoking in every episode of Massimo on the Go and every, every everything. Every, you know, because when I used to smoke weed, I used to be that dude who used to like wake and bake. We're just gonna go uh, into Car for Laval, but let me finish the story about smoking weed. I used to be that wake and bake uh, type uh, fella. Um, I used to keep, you know, because I used to live with my parents at the time that I was smoking weed. So I used to keep my weed in my pillowcase and I used to literally be awake and bake. Like I wouldn't even get out of my bed if I didn't smoke a joint. I would like reach into my pillowcase, pull up my bag with my weed. There would sometimes be a little pre-rolled joint in there. But I would just in my bed, roll a dube, crack open the window, which was right next to my bed, smoke a dube, get high. Then I would get out of bed. That's how, how much me I used to like to smoke the ganj. Anyway, let's go back in right here into Carful of Al. So I uh, went into uh, Carful of Al, you know, maybe get uh, shoot something in the mall. I don't know, uh, rekindle some old uh, um, teenage memories. Not really much happened in the mall anyway, but I was asked by a security guard in the mall to leave the premises. So, you know, just keep on uh, having security guards tell me to leave the premises. It's, uh, it's you know, like I want to tell them, but uh, do you not know that the world runs on YouTube now? Why can't we record in the mall? Anyway, that's, uh, that concludes an episode of uh, uh, Massimo on the Go. It's pretty shit. Got thrown out of two places I wanted to record. But, uh, you know, look out for part two of uh, Laval Catholic. I'm definitely going to go back to Laval Catholic and uh, record, tell some stories, whatnot. And uh, definitely won't come here. There's nothing here. It's a, it's a fucking shopping mall. But uh, if, you're, if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel, uh, do that now. I'm standing in the fucking snow for you guys. You should, uh, please, uh, please, please. No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, no, I'm not kidding. Subscribe to the channel. Just, you know, the little subscription button, hit it, and then the notification. And I'll be back next week with more uh, episodes of me being thrown off of locations.